animation takes several hours just to get one second of movement. If only there was a way to quickly make at least two seconds of animation, fully colored, in just one sitting. Well, what if I told you there was? You've probably heard of rigging, also known as puppet animation recently since it's been rising in popularity with animation memes. If you're like me, you probably looked into it and realized that it looks something like this or this. Yeah not very inviting. Plus, some of the softwares being used have subscriptions or just aren't the best for the job. I can no longer gatekeep what has been my holy grail for animating and that is anime effects. Anime effects is live 2D but for babies and that's you and me. It makes all those weird tools and intimidating graphs turn into three simple tools instead. This video isn't sponsored, but I mean it when I say that this has made animating 100 times less stressful for me. First, I start with a sketch of what I want to animate. Make sure that nothing is drawn in movement since it will make things harder for you. After that, the line art. If you get this part wrong, your animation won't be crisp. So pay attention. Basically, if you want it to move, separate it from everything else. Don't just separate something where the lines meet. Go a little past since it'll allow you to add more movement to your animation. You can go as detailed as you want. The great thing about puppet animation is that you can also take an old drawing and animate that instead. Separating and making the drawing took me one hour. Now for the fun part, animating. For anime effects, you either need to import everything separately as a PNG or quickly transfer it as a PSD file. If you haven't already, label everything. I start the process by pressing these four plus signs and then copying them to later parts of the timeline so that I don't lose the original position of the drawing. Then I begin moving, scaling, and rotating the head. I want my character to look like she's turning her head towards the viewer and also slightly tilting her head up. The most tedious part about rigging is when you make a small adjustment in movement to one part, so then you have to go back and make that adjustment line up with everything else. I use the liquify tool to add more expression to the eyebrows and to make everything fit together more nicely after skewing the aspect ratio. Instead of using the liquify tool for the hair to add movement, it's much better to instead use the bone tool. Add the bones, increase the area to cover the whole thing, and make sure to click the new key point, which is pose. Hair is much lighter in weight, so I move the key points to be a bit delayed so that everything isn't moving all at once. It can make it look unnatural. I'm a sucker for a little bounce effect, so I have three key points that go in this order. First is going up, second is going down, last one is the original state that we copied earlier. To finalize, I don't add much movement to the rest of the body, since the focal point is her blinking and head rotation. I'm not the best at explaining, so I hope the full footage helped to clarify whatever I missed. I highly recommend watching other videos on rigging since I made this video in a time crunch just to make sure you guys are well fed with more frequent uploads. Here's the final animation. I love how it slightly looks 3D. Go follow me on my other platforms and make sure to subscribe. If we hit 10,000 subscribers, I'll bring in my mom or my dad into a video with me. That's all from me. Bye bye.